in the live stream earlier, we covered how AVAX was one of the strongest ecosystems in this uh, hype wave. However, AVAX coin itself is very difficult to play. So uh, I've been meaning to do a in-depth analysis on the entire AVAX ecosystem, and that's what we're going to do in this video. So I, uh, how I want to do this is I'm going to give you guys just the uh, entire playbook of the ecosystem on AVAX right now, specifically only in two categories. It's DeFi when uh, with the usual DeFi infrastructure players, as well as a little bit of RWA altcoins. And then uh, there's one meme coin that's very interesting. And then on the other hand, there are a ton of gaming projects on AVAX, but a lot of them have already popped off. So uh, I'll show you guys all of the top ones, but I'll try to highlight the ones that haven't launched, which I think are where the real opportunities are on AVAX for gaming. Okay, uh, that's on the agenda for this one. It's going to be a short one as I want to get this out of the way. So let's get started. Uh, if you're new here to the channel, welcome. My name is Dennis. I'm a crypto angel investor for the past five years, and I have invested in over 100 crypto companies. On this channel, I share my views on market trends and investing strategy to build wealth in crypto. So uh, let's get started. And like I said, there are only two sectors that I think are very interesting on AVAX, but let's just quickly give you guys a context, right? So AVAX has been the default rotation play coming out of Solana's ecosystem hype, right? So when Solana has its run, AVAX follows shortly after. And we saw what happened on the Solana ecosystem with its ecosystem altcoins. Uh, the existing ones did really well, and then the new ones did really good airdrops. And even, uh, even the meme coins did really well on Solana. So now that Avalanche is seeing this similar retail hype with uh, everyone asking, oh, what's happening on Avalanche now? How do we get into this ecosystem? What's hot on there? Uh, a lot of people haven't discovered the true Avalanche ecosystem coins yet, and that's what we will cover. So as you can see, Avalanche itself is very difficult to play right now. This is why I, uh, I said earlier, you know, I'm not betting on Avalanche for trade anytime soon. Ideally, I would like to load up between this $23 to $26 range, but that's highly unlikely to happen. Uh, in the short term. And that's why we're going to look at Avalanche ecosystem. So let's start things off with DeFi. And really in the DeFi sector, there are a handful of uh, infrastructure projects that every ecosystem has, right? So you have your decentralized exchange, you have a liquid staking protocol. Uh, so on Solana, right? De decentralized exchange is Jupiter, the most popular one. Uh, liquid staking protocol is GTO or Marinade, which both have popped off a lot. And then you have uh, things like Yield Aggregator, you have a uh, Perpetual Exchange, and then you maybe have a couple more uh, DeFi farming protocols to go with it. And also Launchpads could be really good. So let me get into what the top projects on Avalanche are. So the Number one and number two, we have already covered before. Uh, number one is Trader Joe, right? Everyone already knows this one. It's the top decentralized exchange on AVAX. Does really well. We caught it really good on the last run up. Uh, I think we entered right around 30 cents. It went as far as far as 42 cents and then did really well after. So this is relatively safer play. It will continue to run as long as AVAX stays good. Uh, so don't want to get too deep into this one. Similar to Joe, we have Benki, which is the liquid staking protocol, the number one liquid staking protocol on AVAX. Again, very safe play. It's listed on every major exchange, uh, including Binance and Coinbase, right? So very, very established. You can't really go wrong with it. However, uh, keep in mind, this pretty much just follows AVAX price. So just think of it like a leverage bet on AVAX. Not much more than that. You're not going to see like 20x gains on this, right? So those are the two most established ones people already know. Uh, I do want to throw one more in here that's also very established, and that's, that is AVA Launch. This is the leading uh, launch pad on AVAX. In fact, this one is closely related to the AVA Labs team, which means all the projects that launch on this uh, launch pad is pretty much vetted by the foundation itself. So uh, this one, again, has been running really hard already. I wouldn't 
put too much attention on this either. Uh, they are good, but they kind of just follow the price of uh, AVAX itself. Okay, so those are the established ones. Now let's get into some of the more interesting DeFi bets, right? So I have uh, five of them here. So the first one is called Pangolin. Pangolin used to be the top decentralized exchange on AVAX when AVAX first launched. They actually had way more volume than Trader Joe, but then Trader Joe really blew up and overtook Pangolin. However, today Pangolin still still runs, right? It's also listed on Coinbase. It's very established, ton of exchanges. Uh, and this one, when you compare it to Trader Joe, so Trader Joe is at 300 million fully diluted valuation. Pangolin is at 60 million, right? So there is kind of a, a potential trade opportunity there if you want to bet on it. However, you got to consider that Trader Joe has 60 million total value locked. Pangolin has around 38 million. So it's about half the size of Trader Joe in terms of total money in there, which means it will be a bit smaller than Trader Joe. So uh, nonetheless, I think this one hasn't really seen as much traction yet. So if you want to bet on the decentralized exchange, I know this one is also legit, uh, not going to rock pull or anything. Uh, so I think this one, based on the ratio of uh, total value locked versus market cap, this is a little bit more undervalued than Trader Joe. So, okay, so that's the first one. Second one is Yield Yak. This is another very classic DeFi play on AVAX. Uh, this is a DEX aggregator and yield aggregator on AVAX. Uh, it, when AVAX first got popular, this was the place where everyone deposited their LP tokens to farm uh, incentives. And today they're still very active. So one of the <clears throat> most important things you can do to check a project's activity is to go on their Twitter and figure out, okay, are they tweeting every day? Are they following up with the, with the AVAX ecosystem? And you see they're still popping up new pools every day. They're engaging with new tokens on AVAX, you know, getting in on the action day one. So they are very active. So this is a good sign. And when you consider how much total value lock they have, 37 million, but their market cap is only 8 million. So this is definitely... I always say undervalued for sure. And also all of their tokens are circulating out of the 10,000, all tokens are circulating. So again, uh, I think this one definitely undervalued. Small cap, yes, but legitimate project and very OG in AVAX ecosystem and still very active, which is good to see. A uh, couple more in the DeFi sector, we have Colony. So Colony is this uh, accelerator or incubator for the AVAX ecosystem. Now, I know for a fact that Colony is officially supported by AVA Labs. So a lot of their investment money is comes from AVA Labs itself, which means their deal flow is really good, top-notch projects. Now, by uh, holding the Colony token and staking it, you can get early stage private sales, <coughs> which does get really valuable as AVAX becomes popular again. And this one, I would put it in the DeFi category as well because it's kind of an investment DAO setup. And currently at $32 million valuation, market cap fully diluted 50. Uh, I would say compared to Benki and Joe, this one definitely a little bit less discovered and a little bit less pumped up, right? You can see here uh, up from six cents to about 30 cents, so about a 5X, but that's still only at 50 million. So I would say this one definitely higher potential than the leaders in this avalanche ecosystem, but it's just as legitimate of a project having that official relationship. Okay, uh, two more. So other one is called Vector Finance. This one I think really is very, very interesting. So this one, a uh, couple of things. They are a uh, vault focused uh, yield project, right? So they allow you to get booster rewards um, based on existing DeFi products on Avalanche. So you can see uh, it integrates with Trader Joe, in integrates uh, with Platypus, which was the DeFi protocol on Avalanche. And essentially you can just get boosted yields on top of uh, all the DeFi farming and staking protocols. You see they also have a, a, a Benki pool as well. And when you check their socials, you see they're very active today. Uh, they are, 
let's see. Yeah, they are engaging with Banky Finance, right? And uh, Banky Finance is actually launching a subnet using uh, AVAX subnets. And Vector is an official partner there of offering boosted yield on top of it. Um, let's see. Yeah, you see they integrated Banky with a X uh, uh, pool. And they're also, you know, helping launch new projects on AVAX as well. So the very active uh, engagement is another good sign. And when you look at the market cap, this one is only at 2 million. So I was pretty surprised uh, because this one's market cap is at 2 million, but they have 49 million value locked in their pools. And you can check this uh, directly on DeFi Llama as well. When you look on Avalanche, so Vector Finance is the number five largest protocol on Avalanche by total value locked. And they are exclusive to Avalanche, right? So only one chain supported. So I think this one's definitely an anomaly here um, comparing the market cap to TVL. This is a really, really uh, undervalued ratio. And this is one that I'm definitely looking to pick up. Very small percentage because it's, I mean, it's tiny cap, but um, much higher potential than the established ones for sure. Okay, and then uh, last one that I think not a lot of people would know about this yet. So this one's called Hubble. It is a decentralized exchange that uh, also decentralized exchange plus their native stablecoin that was built on Solana. However, uh, these guys are actually doing a whole different launch on Avalanche, right? So when you look, go to their socials, you see they're launching their own purpose-built layer one for a uh, perpetual ex decentralized exchange. I think of it like an Apex, a DYDX, GMX type of setup. And they will be doing this using Avalanche subnet. So basically two days from now, they're going to launch this using Avalanche subnet, uh, which would put it also in the Avalanche DeFi hy hype wave, right? Uh, and this project I know is very legit as well because I followed it in the Solana days. And you see uh, this one is at 27 million market cap right now. FDV 50 million, definitely much higher potential than the established ones. Uh, and this one technically is both in Solana ecosystem and in Avalanche ecosystem, which is kind of double dip there. Okay, uh, so those are the established DeFi plays and uh, the ones that you can buy right now. And there are two uh, new upcoming projects on the Avalanche ecosystem, but focused on RWAs, I think it's really interesting. So if you guys uh, remember, Avalanche had this big push towards RWAs when they partnered with JP Morgan, Citigroup, and um, Swift to push this uh, pilot program with the Singapore Monetary Authority. And that was the RWA in initiative. And along with that, they introduced this Avalanche Vista program, which is uh, $50 million worth of their money that they want to invest into RWA assets. So out of this program, there are a handful of projects here that they mentioned, right, that are building using Avalanche and uh, are in this program. So out of this list, there are only actually two that potentially might have tokens, right? So the first one is called High Yield, highyield.xyz. And you see this one uh, just closed around. And this was led by Blizzard Fund, which is the official investment fund of Ava Labs. This one, very interesting for sure. Number one, RWA, all coin play you can get into when it launches. Uh, I say when because, I mean, it doesn't hasn't launched yet. So this is one. Uh, another one is called Cables Finance. This is a... Uh, what is this? Uh, foreign exchange-based uh, tokenizing FX markets on-chain. And it's built using Avalanche and Stellar. And this one is also in the Avalanche Vista program. And the reason why I say this one instead of the other ones is that the other ones are really like not token-focused. You can tell from their socials. They're more, you know, TradFi kind of tools, etc. Whereas this one, you see it's Cables Finance, right? They have... Uh, a DeFi app here. It's they're highly engaged with DeFi ecosystem, etc. So I think this one will also have a token. And if you're interested in upcoming projects, these two uh, are very worthy to pay attention to on AVAX uh, in terms of uh, RWA ecosystem. Because 
we know for a fact that AVAX is big in RWA, having that big push with Citi and JP Morgan, etc. So they will support these types of projects. Okay, so that's on uh, RWA. And then uh, finishing off in the DeFi sector, there is one meme coin that is absolutely popping off on uh, AVAX. And a lot of people are saying this is like the bonk on Solana. And that's this cock Inu uh, AVAX, right? Uh, COQ Inu AVAX. This one, I have no idea why this is popular, but just like bonk, people say it is, so then it is, right? And this one is getting featured everywhere. And when you look at the market cap of this, honestly, it's not that bad yet. Um, Cock COQ, 34 million FTV. Uh, and um, not too bad, to be honest. Not too bad. Is there a market cap chart here? Nope. So basically, the growth has been this was 5.5, five, this was 2.4. Yeah. So since it launched, it did about a 3x, 3.4x. Not too bad, right? So it didn't launch with like private sales, it didn't launch with anything like that. And you can find this on their website as well. Zero taxes, zero team allocation, zero pre-sale. You know, treat this as what it is, right? It's a meme coin. Um, there's decent liquidity, right? 1.3 million out of uh, 34 million FTV. So can it go to zero instantly? Absolutely. Yes, it can. But is it trending? For sure. This is the most popular meme coin by far on Avalanche. So if you want to bet, if you want to have a little bit of meme exposure, just in case this becomes a, like a bonk on Solana, this is the one to bet on. So that's why I have a tiny bit of this, fully expecting this to go to zero, but also um, it's kind of a hit zero or hero type of setup. I have no idea what this team is about. I, you know, I'm not, I haven't talked to them at all. I don't know who they are. Pure meme, but um, it's worth having that like just in case kind of portfolio here. So that's what I'll say about them. Uh, size your bets accordingly. Very, very high risk here for sure. Okay, so that's all the DeFi stuff on Avalanche. Now, uh, in terms of gaming, that's the other main sector, right, on on Avalanche. And just want to show you guys uh, where you can discover all of these gaming uh, projects on Avalanche. Very simple. There's a site called Gaming on AVAX. This is the official website launched by AVAX. So very simple where you can discover all of these projects that are official and legit is to go on this website. And down here, you can see all of their featured games, right? So obviously we have talked about Shrapnel, which is the most established game. Uh, this one is already doing amazingly well. Uh, I don't know if it's here, no. And then you have, uh, when you, you can just scroll on here, right? And there are a handful. Now, not all of these are good, right? So for example, you wanna make sure that you dig into each one to actually see. So click on the view project thing. And you see if their website is down, this is kind of a, you know, a bad sign for sure. So I would skip this one, for example. And then uh, this one is cool. So we'll cover Portal Fantasy in a bit. DeFi Kingdoms, we already know it's very established. So probably not as much upside there. Uh, Fableborn, this is another one we'll cover. Hasn't launched yet, which makes it interesting. This is another one that's upcoming, Rune Seeker. Crypto Royale, this one has launched already and it's very degen, very small cap, not a lot of liquidity. So I would also skip this one. Uh, this one, I have no idea. It looks kind of weird. Pulsar, this is one of the most uh, interesting ones actually uh, because they haven't launched, but they might do an airdrop that they hinted. And then here's another one, Battle for Geostone. This one has already launched. Uh, when you go on their project site, and then uh, you can find out if they have launched already by going to CoinGecko and you see this is their coin and you see how there's barely any volume and there are no exchange listings. So another one I would skip. So this is kind of a first place I would go to stop to uh, find these projects. Another area you can go is to uh, go on their socials for gaming on AVAX, uh, their Twitter. And then you can see all of their upcoming games that are featured, right? So they would tweet about every single game that is building on AVAX. And uh, one of the 
more interesting ones that just announced that they are migrating to AVAX is called uh, it's built by Mirai Labs and the game is called Pegaxi. So their token called PGX. This is another one that's worth watching. Okay, so uh, that's how you can discover these type of, uh, all these projects. Now, let me just give you the actual list, right? So there are kind of two categories uh, for gaming projects on AVAX. There's the camp that have already launched, which are usually way pumped up already because gaming on AVAX is the hottest thing right now. And then there is the sec uh, there are the projects that haven't launched yet. I think those are what's really much more interesting. So for the ones that have launched, and the ones that look pretty good, here are here they are. Right. So first one is called Domi Online, MMO RPG, uh, very much trying to copy uh, WoW. Like if you played WoW before, this game will look very very similar. Not a lot to say about it, uh, other than the fact that uh, when you look at the price, I mean, this is crazy, right? It's seven cents, but it used to be in 0 0.3 cents um, just 11 days ago. So I don't know what to say about that, right? Like 20x pump. Be careful, right? That That's all I would say about this. So I wouldn't be chasing like existing coins like this. Uh, another example, this one is uh, featured on gaming on AVAX, so their official channel. But again, very popped up, right? Coming from 2.5 cents to 15 cents. I wouldn't chase this, right? Uh, so a couple more very similar examples. This one called Playable Games. When you look at the chart, again, very similar, right? Going, uh, what is that? 0 0.05 to 0 0.08. Uh, the chart is not refreshing. Actually, this one, hmm, this one hasn't pumped that much, I guess. Why is the chart not refreshing? Weird. This one might be interesting. Yeah, I would say this one, not as insane, is it? Nope. No, 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 actually, I'm wrong. It already did a 12x. Yeah, so I, I wouldn't be chasing this either. Uh, this one we already covered, it's not as good. So overall, you kind of see a trend, right? So you have the top projects, uh, top gaming projects on AVAX already, right? You you know the top ones that are established, right? Which are Beam and Shrapnel. Very simple, right? So the Beam is uh, the most established subnet on AVAX, uh, building this infrastructure for gaming using Avalanche. And this one just continues to give, right? And you know this is a legitimate project. We have featured this one like five times now on this channel. Um, first talked about it when it was uh, Mirror Circle back in our layer two uh, for gaming video, right? And then uh, Shrapnel, very similar. We talked about it for the December altcoin video. Uh, you can still try to get into their node sale, which is probably coming up um, just in a couple of weeks. So I would say if you're exposed to these two altcoins, there's not much reason to be digging into like five more like lower cap uh, gaming altcoins on AVAX if they have already done like 12x. Uh, I, I don't know how much more potential you can you can get here. So that's why I would say try to focus on the projects, uh, the, the gaming projects that haven't launched on AVAX. And that's uh, why I have this other list here. So um, I do want to say that you do need kind of a, for new projects, you do need to make sure that they are legitimate enough. And the number one thing you can do to check if a project on AVAX is legitimate is, you know, if they are featured by AVAX, right? So just check this trailer that AVAX dropped uh, with uh, their Gaming on AVAX initiative, right? So all the games that they're onboarding, you see they feature basically all the top games here. And there is a, uh, all of the, Logos are actually featured here. So let me just show you. So already, right, you have, um, can you play this? Come on. Okay, you have Shrapnel. You have uh, Portal Fantasy, right, which is this one, Portal Fantasy, we already covered. Uh, it's also featured on the Gaming on AVAX website, right? So this is one 
that haven't launched yet, I would follow this and figure out when they're launching their token. Uh, then we go back to the same trailer. You have, uh, let's see, Ruins Keeper, right? Uh, sorry, Rune Seeker. And this one, I'm following their socials, right? This hasn't launched yet. So um, there's one, maybe if they do a public sale, that would be good because you know they're legit and AVAX already featured them. And then uh, let's see, I don't know what this one is, Mega Weapon, haven't heard of that. Uh, Godzilla, this is off the grid. This is the most established uh triple a level crypto game out there that you can get into even better polished than shrapnel so obviously get into this one uh if there's if it's possible and then there's beam right you see they feature beam here there's fableborn right so fableborn is this one and you can go check out their socials right here you see i'm following them and you, you see they raised quite a lot of money 7.8 million dollars so you know that they're legit they will have a big launch follow their socials make sure that you try to get into their project uh and then let's see what else is here you have playable this one where you have already seen that's uh, already listed this one uh pulsar so this is another one that haven't launched right pulsar game follow their socials and i think what's interesting for them is that they hinted that you can play Pulsar right now and start farming the Pulsar airdrop. This is interesting, and they officially said this. So I would definitely try to play this game and see uh, if you can farm their tokens. And then uh, Meta DOS, right? This is another one, and you can just so it takes a, just a little bit of research, right? Just type in Meta DOS, you'll find okay, Meta DOS. AVAX little triangle there. What this project is, is a next-gen battle royale game with times currency concept powered by DOS chain and incubated by Cedify, right? So Cedify, we already know, one of the top launch pads in the space. So you know this is a legit project. And when you go to this DOS chain, you see how they are a user-friendly blockchain developed by DOS Labs, and it's an official subnet of AVAX, right? So another good sign, subnets of AVAX very high tier projects can only uh, get into this. So this is one, again, that I'm following. Uh, let's go back to the same trailer. Off the Grid, this is Dr. Disrespect's projects. Also hasn't launched yet, but super hyped up. Uh, let's see, DeFi Kingdoms, we want to skip because it already launched. And this one, I couldn't really find. This is the last one, Rovitens. I don't know what this is, to be honest. If every, anyone knows, uh, please let me know. So that's basically the research process, right? It's it's very simple. You have the existing projects, but you know that they're all up like 12 to 20x. Not worth it. But with the same uh, feature coming from AVAX, officially, you have a ton of projects that haven't launched yet, which are RuneSeeker, Pulsar, uh, MetaDOS, Portal Fantasy, Fable Born, uh, another one called Blood Loop. Uh, this one, it wasn't featured, but we know that this is very legit. Uh, and that's it. So very simple. Uh, yeah, you see Blood Loop also incubated by Cedify. So just follow all their socials and figure out, will they have their own public sale? Is there going to be a private sale somewhere? Uh, can you get into them on any of the launch pads? So these are, in my opinion, way more interesting than the existing coins. Now, just to finish things off here, uh, two of these games are actually incubated by Cedify. So Bloodloop and uh, Metados, right? Both of these are incubated by Cedify. And if you guys know, Cedify is one of the top uh, launch pads in the space. And they are specifically a launch pad for gaming projects. And you can see this on their website. So go, go to cedify.fund. And down here, you can find their upcoming project launches. And you see Blood Loop and MetaDOS are both upcoming launches uh, that you can pot potentially participate in. I don't know if it's going to be like an auction or uh, like a raffle. It depends. Sometimes there's like certain luck involved. But um, by participating in Cedify and using the S1 token, you can potentially get into these two 
game projects early, which is honestly way more worth it than trying to chase like one of these existing launches that has already done like 15x, right? So that's what I would say. Uh, in the AVAX gaming ecosystem, I'm not really touching any of these kind of smaller gaming coins that are already listed. I just have Shrapnel and Beam, and uh, I will try to get into the newer projects in uh, AVAX doing gaming, which are by far the best ones off the grid and uh, Godzilla's uh, game. Uh, and then we have Fableborn is really good. Portal Fantasy is really good, right? Pulsar is really good. And then uh, Rune Seeker, another good one. And then I would try to position yourself in Launchpad, for example, Seedify, so that you can try to participate in Bloodloop and Metados, which is two of their upcoming games. I think both of these will probably launch soon uh, because they will try to capitalize on this AVAX hype. And that's it. So these are all of the interesting things that I see on AVAX. All of these are legit because they are officially featured by AVAX. So I don't think any of these will be like high risk uh, scams or anything, but just make sure that you understand um, where the price is currently sitting and which projects actually still haven't launched yet uh, that you can maybe participate in. Okay, uh, that's it. So that's all of my uh, top altcoin picks on AVAX, just to summarize, right, in the DeFi sector, I have these coins. So I have Trader Joe Banky, if you want to be really safe. Uh, if you want to go in a little bit higher potential, I would pick up Yield Yak, Colony, uh, Vector Finance, very low cap, but definitely interesting, and then Hubble with their upcoming perp uh, launch using AVAX subnet. Uh, and then after that, I would pick up uh, Cock Inu just a little bit because it's maybe it becomes the bonk of AVAX. And then I would also pick up uh, Seedify, which is the technically a DeFi coin because it's a it's a uh, launch pack coin. So Seedify is the next one I would pick up so that I can get access to the upcoming games on AVAX. And then in the gaming sector, I would target all of the games we have mentioned that haven't launched yet. So I'll follow their socials, figure out how I can get into them early. And before I go, make sure to follow me on Twitter or X at VirtualBacon0x. This is where I drop all of my quick alpha before I make them into these in-depth videos. And uh, make sure to join our Discord with the link in the description, discord.gg slash VirtualBacon. This is where I post all of our day-to-day -day alpha and also our trade alerts with our free VIP program. Okay, that's it. Uh, thank you guys for joining. And uh, if you're going to play this uh, Evax ecosystem, make sure you know what you're doing, and make sure that you you know you're not blindly longing Evax when there is no pullback to be seen. However, if you're uh, if you saw this video fully through, hopefully you understood where the potentially hidden gem opportunities still are on Evax, and. Hopefully that can help you get positioned properly. That's it. Uh, thank you guys for joining and uh, I will see you guys on the next video and next live stream. Cheers. Bye-bye.